Due to two coups that occurred between January 2022 and September 2022 in Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Tror is the country's current leader. When he and other junior military officers overthrew Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry de Miba, who had also won the president through a coup in January, they set a record for the youngest leader of state in history. In a televised address on October 1, 2022, Tror said that Damiba had failed to address the enduring issue of insurgency as justification for his removal from office. Damiba, 41, had been deposed by Tror, who was two levels below him in the military's chain of command and seven years his junior. Tror holds the French name for captain in the military hierarchy. A leader who has emerged from the ranks of the military, he has been a serious threat to the French since his coming into office. France are said to be scared of the Chumta leader, as he has consistently made his points clear that Burkina Faso does not need to reply in France for any form of self-sustenance and economic development. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we'll be talking about how Africa's youngest president is making France scared. If you're new here please click the subscribe button and also turn on post notifications in order not to miss out on any subsequent videos. So then, let's jump right into this. The presence of France in its former colony of Burkina Faso has come under scrutiny in recent months as a result of a military coup that installed junior soldiers under the leadership of Captain Ibrahim Troura last September. As a result, Burkina Faso has requested that France withdraw hundreds of troops stationed there. According to reports from Agents France Press, Burkina Faso's foreign ministry formally requested France to evacuate its troops in a letter written to Paris on Sunday. Later, French President Emmanuel Macron requested clarifications on that demand. On Monday, Oadrago remarked, At this point, we do not see how we can be clearer than this. The representative said, The Burkinaba themselves would agree to the required sacrifices for the freedom of our territory. After the coup, the new leaders of Burkina Faso expressed their desire to move towards other partners in their fight against terrorism. The move has been viewed by some experts as an attempt to get closer to Russia, which has been expanding its footprint in the region. France, like most other European powers, have had control over their colonies for decades and keeping diplomatic and security relations with these countries, including development and trade has helped to solidify France's presence in French Africa. Which is why with extremely determined leaders like Ibrahim Troer, a military coup leader, France is scared and highly intimidated. Even though Troer's elevation has frequently been described as meteoric, inside the military, his ascent to the top was inevitable. Troer's major break came in 2014 when he was dispatched to Mali as a soldier for the MINUSMA program of the United Nations after serving in a variety of relatively low-level positions in the Burkina military. Troer exhibited bravery while serving in Mali, according to military officers from Burkina Faso who spoke with Radio Omega earlier. Troer, who was 26 at the time, reportedly survived a complex attack by violent radicals in the northern Timbuktu region, according to an unnamed source who spoke to Radio Omega. As a lieutenant, Tror exhibited leadership traits including being willful, courageous, and close to his people, the source continued. Besides the assignment in Mali, Tror also featured prominently in the fights against insurgency in his native Burkina Faso between 2019 and 2022. He was promoted to the rank of captain in 2020. Shortly after staging a coup against Damba's administration in September 2022, Tror acknowledged that his age, 34 would be a subject of discussion among those questioning his presidential credentials. I know that I am younger than most of you here. We did not want what happened, the coup against Damiba, but we did not have a choice, he told government officials in October 2022. Up until July 2023, when he traveled to St. Petersburg, Russia, alongside 16 other African heads of state for a meeting with President Vladimir Putin, who had organized the Russia-Africa summit, it looked that the world had lost interest in him. The other presidents were wearing their custom-made, pricey suits, as was their habit. However, the imposing Tror, who stands just over six feet tall, arrived dressed in military battle gear, complete with a red beret and tactical gloves. 
Troar was one of the few, if not the only visiting president, to salute back as he passed the security personnel greeting the arriving heads of state at the summit's location, Expo Forum. If such weren't appealing to the world's perceptions, his muscular physique and unique presence, even in Putin's proximity, did when he posed for a photograph with the Russian leader. The saluting picture with Putin and the dress code earned him the attention, but his speech during the Russia-Africa summit, held between July 27 and 28, earned him plaudits. The problem is seeing African heads of state, who bring nothing to people who are struggling, singing the same song as the imperialists who call us militia. As a result, they end up referring to us as people who do not respect human rights, Tor said. We, African heads of state, must stop acting like marionettes who dance each time the imperialists pull on our strings. He went ahead to blast African presidents who were happy to receive freebies. Troar's remarks are likened to those made in the early 1980s by the revered Thomas Sankara, who, just like Troar, ascended to the Burkina Faso's presidency through a coup. Born in western Burkina Faso's Bandokui, Troar completed his geological studies at Ouagadougou before enlisting in the army in 2010. He received an officer's degree from the Georges Namano Military School, which is inferior than the famed Katayogo Military Academy, where Damiba and other members of the elite attended. An acquaintance of Troar's told AFP that he finished second in his class and called him disciplined and brave. He spent years fighting the jihadists after graduating, gaining experience. Before accepting a position with the UN's MI in a USNA peacekeeping force in neighboring Mali in 2018, he served in the country's severely damaged north and center. 2020 saw his appointment as captain. Under the condition of anonymity, a former superior officer recalled an incident that took place in 2020, just before the town of Barcelago in central Burkina was about to be overrun by jihadists. In order to reach Barcelago in time to liberate the town, Troar led his soldiers on a commando trek through the countryside because it was thought that the road there had been mined. Troar joined the patriotic movement for preservation and restoration, as the Chunta chose to call itself when Damiba seized control in January and deposed democratically elected president rock mark Christian Kabor. Damiba elevated Troar to the position of head of artillery for the Kaya regiment in the nation's center in March. However, it was a decision that, paradoxically, would pave the way for Damiba's own demise. The regiment degenerated into a breeding ground for dissatisfaction, and Troar was given the responsibility by his colleagues to channel their resentment. Troar made repeated journeys to Ouagadougou to make their case to Damaba. Following an attack on a convoy in northern Burkina last month that resulted in the deaths of 27 troops and 10 civilians, disillusionment with the reaction gave way to fury, which then seems to have solidified into a determination to grab power. According to security expert Ma Mudusavadogo, Captain Troar symbolizes the rank and files in junior officers' frustration. Taking back control of jihadist organizations, some of which are connected to al-Qaeda and others to the Islamic State, would be a difficult assignment for the incoming president. They began their attacks in Mali in 2015, and since then, they have made steady progress. Although Troar has made a clear critique of his predecessor by promising to complete what should have been done in the past eight months, within three months, one soldier overthrowing another, Savadogo said, is an example of the deteriorating state of the army, which hardly exists anymore and which has just torn itself apart with this umpteenth coup d'etat. Troar's coup comes at a time when France and Russia are competing for influence in French-speaking Africa, where former French possessions are increasingly looking to Moscow. Demonstrators who rallied for him in Ouagadougou during last weekend's standoff with Damibo waved Russian flags and chanted anti-France slogans. Troar seems for now to bring hope to many in a country sinking steadily in the quagmire. The leader of Burkina Faso's junta claims that his nation is not the enemy of the French people, but rather of the policies of its government in an interview that was televised amid heightened tensions with France. After Captain Abraham Troar took power in September 2022, France evacuated troops from its former colony because to growing antagonism.
In an interview with the state station RTB that aired late on Wednesday, Chor said that we are not the enemies of the French people, it is the policies of those governing France which are the problem in Africa. As long as a state doesn't have an imperialistic mindset, there's no problem, he stated. Chor added that France's assistance to the Burkinate army in its protracted war against Islamic insurgency has been futile. We have new partners who are supporting us in terms of equipment and other ways, he said, without identifying them. Since the French pullout in January, Burkina has developed closer contacts with Russia, an ally of the Chunta in neighboring Mali. Tror in July met Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, and last week held talks with the Russian delegation on development and military cooperation. On Monday, his foreign minister, Olivia Rwamba, held talks in Tehran with President Ibrahim Raisi, in which she said she hoped for stronger bilateral cooperation with Iran. The jihadist campaign, which was started in Mali in 2015, has the impoverished, landlocked nation under control. According to an NGO observer known as the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, or ACLED, more than 16,000 civilians, soldiers, and police have perished. Additionally, more than 2 million people have been ejected from their homes, leading to one of Africa's greatest internal displacement disasters. Rockmark Christian Kebor was overthrown in a coup on January 24, 2022, as a result of unrest within the military forces. On September 30, Colonel Paul Henry Sandago de Miba, Kibor's adversary, was ousted by the 34-year-old Tror. France has been ejecting and repelling French troops and aid from its colonies in French-speaking Africa in a domino effect. In Junta ruled Burkina Faso, where another domino in its military collaboration against West African Islamists could crumble. France also fears a repetition of its terrible falling out with Mali. The Burkinid Prime Minister Apollinaire Kailam de Tembella stated in November that he wished to diversify partnership relations in the fight against terrorists, but relations have deteriorated recently. This diversity might include Russian military or even mercenaries like the Wagner Group, who are supported by Moscow. Burkina Faso, once a French colony, now seems to be moving down the same path as nearly Mali, after officers seized power there in September, in the second coup in eight months. Russia is a reasonable choice, Tembella said on Saturday after meeting Russian Ambassador Alexei Saltikov. This brings us to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to turn on notifications in order not to miss on our videos and drop your comments about the youngest African president as at now, Ibrahim Tror of Burkina Faso.